When you're hiking, it helps if the water you're drinking looks like water instead of mud. Here you see me harvesting water directly from the Rio Grande. To give you an accurate sense of how cloudy the water is, I'll use this homemade device. It's just a square mason jar with a grid taped to the back. If you fill the jar with tap water, you can still see the grid clearly through three inches, or seven and a half centimeters, of water. Here's what three inches of Rio Grande water looks like. As you can see, it's cloudy but not opaque. In fact, I've drunk muddier looking water than that. But that was out of necessity, not out of choice. Suppose your only available water looks just awful. Like this, for example. This sample includes a big spoonful of dirt from my backyard. Today's question is, can you turn this into something that's not only safe to drink, but that you want to drink? Some of the approaches people try don't work very well. I looked at this issue in a blog back in 2015. I looked at a pre-filter made to fit on an algae bottle, a paper coffee filter, and a bandana. Rather than repeat all that information here, I'll put a link in the description box. For this video, I'll use coffee filters as my example of why such approaches don't work. Here's a particle of dirt that's two microns in diameter, with a bar scale to the right. Anything from that size up to 63 microns is silt and will be suspended in water. Anything smaller than 2 microns across is clay and dissolves in water. Now I'll add a circle corresponding to the size of a hole in a coffee filter, about 20 microns. You can see that the silt particle will have no problem passing through the holes. In fact, any silt less than 20 microns across will get through. Now let's zoom in on that same particle of silt. The arrow is pointing to a circle representing the approximate size of holes in a water filter such as a Sawyer Mini or a Katadyne Beefree. Since the filter holes are smaller than the smallest silt, only dissolved clay should be able to get through. So in theory, you can use a Mini or a Beefree to filter out anything that's silt-sized or larger. Let's try it. If you want to pre-filter water during a hike, my suggestion is to use a single layer of bandana. Once I use the t-shirt off my back. This step won't fix how cloudy the water is, but it will catch small insects and bits of leaves and other chewy stuff. The next step will catch those things too, so using the bandana is just an optional step for trapping bigger stuff. Now let's see what happens when you run the water through a hiker's filter. Here I'm using a Katadyne Bee Free. Notice how dark the water in the dirty water bag is. Here's what the water looks like when it's done. It's about as clear as tap water, so if you're hiking and come across muddy water, you don't have to pass it up until you find a better source. I do need to add a disclaimer. Filtration isn't the same as purification. REI has a good web page on that, and I'll provide a link in the description box. Water filters such as the Mini and the Bee Free filter out larger germs, such as Giardia, but they don't filter out viruses. Here you see that hole in a hiker's water filter compared to the largest viruses. Here's that hole compared to the smallest viruses. As you can see, viruses are going to sail through the hole. In places where waterborne viruses aren't a concern, a hiker's filter is all you need. That includes most of the backcountry in the U.S. and Canada. If you're traveling in areas where waterborne viruses are an issue, you'll need a different approach. Even in the U.S. and Canada, you need to think about your water source. There are tens of thousands of toilets upstream from this particular point on the Rio Grande, and I wouldn't drink this water even after pushing it through a filter. In an emergency, I would filter it first and then I'd boil it. One last thing, all that gunk will clog up your filter. No problem if you keep cleaning the filter according to the instructions. One reason I like the Katadyne Bee Free is you can clean it by swishing it in water like you see here. All that gunk you see coming loose is gunk you don't have to drink.